Welcome to the Canadian Comeback Challenge. We are This Point Forward. My name is Brett, and I'm here with Ali, Angela, and Dorothy. After rigorously comparing and contrasting BJIS to similar companies, our team has concluded to create an optimized reworking project to improve management and employee relations. I'll pass it on to Dorothy with steps of, of implementation. This project can be broken into three steps. Step one, BJIS's HR department can organize a performance audit on the optimizer program. Step two would involve collaboration of the management team and HR to use the output from step one alongside the PMC training guide to develop a training program. In summary, the guide suggests that participation should be customized for each employee. As well, the purpose is not to give a strict structure to follow, but a guide for leaders and their activity. Involvement in these programs results in a 75% higher employee productivity and a 25% faster annual growth. Following the PMC guide can ensure this program will not become just another mandatory policy employees have to follow. And to mitigate risk, the third step is to supplement the plan with conversation with the team to encourage participation and gather feedback along the way. I'll pass it over to Ali for key management strategies. The first strategy would be to adopt a functional structure, which basically means dividing the business into different departments based on areas of expertise. This helps in improving accountability and clarity within the organization. These departments report to the CEO. Each department is managed by a department head with specialized knowledge in that field. Next, there should be a cross-functional collaboration within the departments of the organization to function smoothly. This helps in increasing productivity within the organization. Lastly, managers should not make unilateral decisions. Rather, it should be taken by a group of managers to avoid biases. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Anshula for a better look at EDI strategies. BGS must build a collaborative culture among its employees that's based on trust, respect, and integrity. It is crucial to have a welcoming business environment that accepts everyone that enters through its doors by drawing expertise from across the firm. They must strive for transparency, which in turn strengthens client relationships, while also regularly reviewing the strategies to ensure that it meets the company's priorities and objectives. Now passing it on to Brett. Let's look at the budget breakdown. Based on the implementation steps mentioned, the in and internal audit is estimated to fit around the current level of employees at man uh, in management positions. Calculations here are based on the Springer Institute's internal audits formula, which, uh, we asked, uh, which was lays out the basic cost of a funding program at a small company by employee at $23.96. We estimated around 3,000 management staff with a result of $75,000. The second step, creating a management program based on performance management consultants or PMC's technical and social model will range between 200,000 to 300,000 and 50,000. This will result in stronger interpersonal relationships and happier staff with an overall relative cost estimate of $350,000. Thank you so much. We are at this point forward.